Hi. You all wanted to learn how to make an armature for a foot, so here we go. Here are the things that you're going to need. 11 gauge wire, wire cutters and pliers, your armature map, you can use your foot or your shoe, tape. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is measure out the length of the wire that you need. You want to have the wire go a little bit beyond the edge of the big toe and a little bit beyond the edge of the heel. Then you need to make a W with the tail. Now you remember this from doing the hand. Okay, so now I've got my W with the tail and I'm going to cut the end. Okay, put the wire up against even against the edge of the big toe and you'll have this much wire left over at the end of the heel. Mark this with a piece of tape. Okay. Now, take this measurement, okay, and measure it from the end of the tape to wherever it happens to fall on the wire and mark that with a piece of tape. Okay. Next thing you want to do is bend the wire so that the two pieces of tape match up together. Pull one end out like so and the other end out like so. Okay, so this is what you've got. The next thing you want to do is you want to take your armature map again and put this up against your armature map so that you can be certain that the length of the heel and you can see this strap is going to indicate where my ankle is, which is also where the leg bone is. And you want to make sure that all those things line up. And then the bulk of the foot. Now you realize that the heel is one third. The tarsus, navicular, cuboid, and cuneiforms, and metatarsus are also one third. And then the toes or phalanges are another third of the foot. Okay, so you know that the toes are going to bend right about here. One third, one third, one third. Okay? Now you're going to take this free wire from the back where the calcaneus is, because remember this is two thirds and this is one third. Okay, so you want to take it from the one third end. And you are going to very tightly tightly like a slinky. You don't want it to be loose. You want it to be nice and tight. Wrap it around and crimp that end. The next thing you're going to do from the same area is you're going to grab one of the loops, cut it, and wrap again. You want to make sure that this base is nice and tight. Make sure that you don't use 16 gauge wire. Make sure that you use 11 gauge wire because you need it to hold up the weight of the Sculpey. Okay, so now you take this back end loop and you pull it out like that so you have the calcaneus. Okay. You can spread these apart, okay? Depending on whether you're doing a left foot or a right foot, uh, it doesn't matter. You can do a right foot or a left foot. You just need to make sure that you put the arch in the right place. I'm going to do a right foot. Excuse me. I'm going to do a left foot. <laughs> okay. So you want to pull the wires in the two-thirds part of the foot 
apart and arrange them so that they fall naturally just like you did with the hand. Okay. And you're going to cut the loops. And straighten out those awful cutting ends. They hurt. They prick you. Okay. To get the gesture of the foot is to have proper placement of the arch and the little toe. It's really important. The arch of the foot starts here and remember if you have one-third one-third and one-third that means the phalanges are going to bend about right there so I'm just going to bend that up so that we know where they go okay okay so you want to make sure that this arch comes up high and then this toe is going to rest this is the big toe. It's going to rest flat on the, on the surface. Then you have another arch for the index toe. And each arch graduates, gets a little less, until you get to the little toe, which rests directly on the surface. So if I put this up here like this, you can see that the little toe here is resting on the surface. And let me spread that out a little bit. And that there's a definite arch here. No flat feet. Okay? Okay. And that's how you make an armature for a foot. There you go. If you can see that. Okay, whoops. Okay, hope this helps you, and I'll see you in class.